about the new anime making system project 2020. Japanese animators have suffered from low wages, long work hours, and exploitative outsourcing contracts for decades. Because of this, the entire industry has faced impoverishment, and in recent years, the increase in inconsistent, low-quality animation shows getting taken off air and degradations in art quality have become a very serious problem. Under these circumstances, we're extremely concerned about the future of Japanese animation that is highly regarded across the world. However, we don't see any way for things to change without the help of the fans. If improving the current anime industry is too difficult, then let's craft a new anime industry as fans. That's the idea behind the new Anime Making System Project 2020. To act as an aspirational beacon to the rest of our friends in anime studios all over Japan, we will raise the tides of our industry with the support of the global anime fandom. The average monthly salary for a young animator in their 20s is 90,000 yen, about 810 US dollars. According to the 2015 survey by the Japan Animation Creators Association, it said that the average annual salary for an animator in their 20s is about 9,900 US dollars. That's about $810 a month. For rookies in their first year at a company, there are even times when they earn less than $270 per month. Rent for a standard studio apartment in Tokyo is about $540, so you can see how low this monthly wage is. There are many reasons for this extremely low income, but the first is the low cost of in-between animation. Most animators are hired under a payment model based on the number of frames they're able to produce, and it takes time for them to get faster and reach a point where they can produce a lot of drawings and make a decent income. For a TV series, one frame of in-between animation goes for about a dollar and eighty cents. This means that if an animator draws 300 frames a month, they only earn about $540. Drawing 300 pages in a month is incredibly tough, particularly for new animators. Drop in art quality. Naturally, no one can live on this salary, so the turnover rate for new animators is extremely high. It's said that 90% of employees leave their jobs within three years of joining a studio. Even experienced key animators are paid less than what they deserve. After initially staying in the industry in their 20s, it's extremely common for animators in their 30s to quit after thinking about marriage or a new job. Because of this labor shortage, the quality of animation is declining and becoming a serious problem. This is the reason why shows are taken off air more than before, and occurrences of inconsistent low-quality animation are becoming more common in recent years. How did such a harsh work environment come to be? Since anime requires a lot of money to make, if an anime doesn't become a hit, it would mean a huge financial deficit. In order to avoid this, the general method of anime production used by production committees is to get television stations, movie companies, advertising agencies, publishers, and major studios to invest in multiple companies a little at a time to create anime. On one hand, this is necessary to avoid risks. But on the other, it has some negative consequences. For example, the budgets given to production companies from the committees are extremely low. Japan's anime production costs are less than a tenth of Disney's. This has caused production companies to lose money and, as a result, led to worse treatment for animators. Currently, it's said that one in four companies are in the red. In addition, all the profits go to the production committee. So even if an anime becomes a big hit, the animators won't see a dime. There is no way to improve these unusually low production costs. This abnormally low cost of production is the largest factor in the problem of low wages for animators. But unfortunately, there's no effective way to improve it at the moment. If you're a Westerner, you might think that labor unions could do something about it. But that's because many labor unions in the West are industry-specific unions in which an entire industry may participate. In Japan, industrial unions are not the standard, making it very difficult for labor unions to solve this issue. Industrial unions are labor unions organized so workers from the same or even similar industries can exceed the restrictions of companies. For example, if the anime industry were to do so, that would mean that every anime studio in Japan joins the same union. As opposed to the U.S., where company unions are banned by law because they favor companies too much, in Japan, industrial unions are not so common. Most of the unions in Japan are in-house unions organized by members of each company. If individual anime studios demanded a raise in their budgets, the production committee could just say, well, we'll just ask someone else then. Without an industrial union like those in Europe and the U.S., it wouldn't even be up for negotiation. The current standards need to change. Animators often are not protected by contracts governed by the Labor Standards Act, which protects workers and is generally used by Japanese companies. Instead, they often work under civil law-governed outsourcing agreements. 
This means many animators are not protected. While this may be common in the modern anime industry, it does not mean it always must be so. We aspire to a higher standard of quality to protect our colleagues, the studios that craft these works, and even the fans themselves. Let's make a new anime industry. We know that we've got to be the change we wish to see in the world. The anime industry is in dire straits, but together we can really make a difference. That's the idea behind the new Anime Making System Project 2020. As a starting point for this project, we are beginning to plan out the development of an original anime studio that will be able to pay animators a fair salary, about two to four times the current industry standards, within the next three years. We will prioritize the creation of a fair and safe working environment. At this new studio, we plan to make a system in which creators can receive royalties, unlike the system in the current industry. About the new Anime Making System Project 2020. In the start of the introduction video, we introduced 22 prominent artists who have offered us their music as charity for this project. Using this music as the base, Japanese animators will create an animated music video, like an opening for an anime. Of course, animators who have received housing assistance and current and past dormitory residents will be joining as staff. If you'd like to support us in this effort, please consider assisting us with our crowdfunding campaign. Thank you very much. For more information on crowdfunding for the new Anime Making System Project 2020, please see the link in the video description. Definitely check it out.